Hi, I'm George Jensen, lead pastor at ECOG. Thank you so much for watching this episode of What's Up With That, where we answer questions for skeptics, seekers, and believers. I'm coming to you today from the Fellowship Hall here at ECOG. In particular, I'm standing in the baptistry, and no, there's no water in here, but earlier there was today because we had a baptismal service where we baptized three believers. Now, something happened prior to that service, something that, well, if you're being baptized or if you're performing baptisms, uh, you'd rather not happen, and that is this. The heater went out. Oh, my. Making the water, leaving the water rather cold. But guess what? We were very fortunate here today because we had a backup plan. We have a backup heater. That's right, right here. A portable heater that works very well. You plug it into the wall, and you have heat in the water. That was our backup plan. Now, is it wise to have a backup plan? Yes, it is. In fact, Scripture talks about this. Some of the Scriptures I can think of in Proverbs 21.5 that says, The plans of the diligent lead to profit. Or Jesus talks in Luke chapter 14 about building a tower, that if you want to build a tower, shouldn't you first count the cost, meaning make plans for it. Also, a couple of weeks ago here, on the, one of the episodes of What's Up With That, we talked about Proverbs 6 that tells the lazy guy to go to the ant who's planning ahead. Little ants, they store up in the wintertime, so, or in the summertime, excuse me, so that they have food over the wintertime during the cold season. Planning is a good thing, and I'm glad that we had a backup plan here for our Believer's Baptism service. But what happens if your plans, your backup plans even, don't come to fruition? Well, that's okay as well, because the Bible also tells us the heart of a man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps, meaning that many times we have a plan, and we even have a backup plan, but God says, uh-uh-uh, I have a different plan. And this is why Christianity is such a beautiful thing. For those of you that are skeptic of skeptics of the faith, let me encourage you this way. Yes, we plan. Yes, we believe in planning and even having backup plans. But when those plans fail, rather than despair and believe that it's all on us and that everything is our fault and we condemn ourselves, well, we believe that there is a God who has a sovereign plan, who is providential, meaning in charge over all things. And we trust that, well, that was his plan and it's okay and we can rest knowing that his plan was done. And that's why the Christian faith is such a comforting thing for those of us who make plans because we know that everything is according to God's plan. And that's what's up with that. Hey, as always, we invite you here to ECOG, where we know that God has made this place, this church, we as a congregation, a lighthouse for him guiding people to salvation, and preparing people to face the storms of life. We sure hope that you can join us. Won't you come and do so and be blessed.